Hello apples and cherries and welcome back to day two of your 2D and 3D shape lessons. Just to recap that for the next two weeks the aim is for us to look at 2D and 3D shapes and to work out the mathematical language used to describe them. So we're going to be using very grown up language and we will by the end of it we will be able to use accurate mathematical language when describing 2D and 3D shapes. So today's focus is to keep thinking about our 2D shapes. So we went through lots and lots of facts yesterday about them and we are going today to test ourselves on whether or not we can work out the shape from the facts. So you will be able to name a 2D shape because you already remember them from the last time we taught them. Um, you, some of you will also be able to talk about the properties of 2D shapes and some of you will even be able to compare different 2D shapes to each other. Right then, so 2D shapes, let's just remind ourselves what they are. So we've got this one, which is a rectangle, fantastic. This one, a square, well done. Even though it's on its side, it is still a square because it's got four straight sides and they're all the same length. This is a triangle, brilliant, well done, because it's got three straight sides and three vertices. What shape is this? Fantastic, this is a star. And this shape is a circle, well done. Now, remember yesterday we did a hand action to remind us about 2D shapes. There's something that's very important about 2D shapes. What is it? It's just one word that we can use to describe a 2D shape. Brilliant. It's that they are flat. Let's say that again together. 2D shapes are flat. Let's say the whole sentence together. 2D shapes are flat. Well done if you remember to use the hand action to help you. Right then, so we're going to play a game now. I'm going to test ourselves to see how much we know about our 2D shapes. And we're going to try and guess which 2D shape is it. So this 2D shape is a special rectangle. It has four vertices. Remember, vertices are the points where the sides come together to make a pointy bit that we call a vertice or a vertex. So this shape is a special rectangle. It has four vertices. It has four right angles. It has four straight sides. All the sides are equal in length. And well done. What is it? It's a square. Brilliant. Well done. Moving on to the next 2D shape. Can you guess what it is? This 2D shape is round. It has one continuous curve. So it's one side that is a continuous curve. And all points on the edge of this shape are the same distance from the centre. Can you guess what shape it is? Brilliant! It is a circle. Well done. Next shape then. Hmm. wonder what shape this is going to be. So this shape has three straight sides and three vertices. What shape do you think it could be? Fantastic, it is a triangle. Brilliant, well done. Wonder what this shape will be. This shape has got 10 sides, 10 vertices, has lots of vertices on the sides, isn't it? And the vertices all come out from the centre of this shape. So it's got 10 sides, 10 vertices, and all the vertices come out from the centre of this shape. Brilliant. Well done. And this shape is a star. A. Which 2D shape is this? It has four straight sides. 
two long sides opposite each other that are equal in length, four vertices, four right angles, and two short sides that are also opposite each other that are equal in length. What shape do you think it could be? Brilliant, well done. This is a rectangle, isn't it? Fantastic, well done today. Now, if you found that a little bit tricky, you can always go back to yesterday's video just to remind you of some of the facts of a 2D shape. If not, you can move on to today's task. So what is today's task? Today's task is to label the properties of the 2D shapes that we've looked at. So just like we've got on the screen here, just like yesterday, there is a document that you can print out. However, if you do not have a printer or you do not want to print it, you can just make this table yourself. Just remember to add in the star and the square as well. OK, I couldn't fit them all on the screen. Sorry. So to fill in this um, table today, you will have your shape on the side. And we're gonna, we will write in the name of the shapes. What's the name of this shape? Fantastic, this is a circle. And then the next point is the sides, sides. How many sides does a circle have? It has one curved side, okay? How many vertices does a circle have? Mm, zero, well done, there's no, um, there's no vertices on a circle. And then there's an opportunity at the end here to help you compare your 2D shapes to think about an extra fact about your 2D shape. So the extra fact that I've added in about my 2D shape, the circle, is that all of the points on the edge of the circle are the same distance from the centre. OK? So you've got the triangle, the rectangle, the square and the star that you can fill in. You can also put in a different fact about the circle if you want to. You might want to add in that it's one continuous curve. OK, I hope you enjoy your activity. And like I said, if you're struggling a little bit to remember the facts, please, please, please go back to yesterday's video and you can recap them there as well. OK, thank you very much. Bye.